art browser tutorial how to use art browser hi guys in today's video i'm going to be telling you about art browser and how you can use it so having said that let's just jump into the video now before we begin let me just quickly tell you a little bit about art browser art browser is a chromium browser it is based on the chromium software which means that it is basically like chrome because chrome is also based on the chromium architecture same as art browser so it's basically like chrome but with its own skin if it's its own features right what makes art browser unique is its ability to help you navigate around the web so basically it gives you this little tab like a search bar as you can see right here where you can create different sections you know and i think it's a pretty cool idea to have like a sidebar that contains all of your information or you can quickly access them between different you know moods like you can have a folder for all of your social medias have a folder for all of your gaming content have a folder or a subsection for all of your work related details so i think it's pretty cool so if you come over here you can see this is our max right power up your browser with the ai so this is their ai version right max that's what they call as you can see right here to access it you just press the command f or control f here on computer and it's going to go ahead and you know analyze what's on the screen and if you can go ahead and select a certain element uh, it'll automatically you know tell you that as well so i think it's a pretty cool idea and i think it looks really really good as well another cool thing about arc browser is the arc search so here you can see this is on your mobile application this is for mobile applications so arc search is on a is a mobile browser for you so if you wanted to use it on your phone you can do that as well i think it's pretty cool so let's go ahead and download arc browser now arc browser is available on mac os and ios it's not available on uh, android as of yet but it is available on windows so we're going to go ahead and download the arc browser we're going to save the installation and once it's downloaded we're just simply going to run the application and here we go so as you can see it's downloading and setting up so i'm going to catch you guys in a sec and before i pause i actually wanted to tell you that it is absolutely free there is no pricing plan or anything like that you can see right here max is their ai this is the mobile this is the developer and this is for students as well so if you click over here open it up you can see this is mainly for students work related stuff right here as you can see right here but yeah a lot of people are using it it's actually really really good so let's just wait for it to download and we'll get started all right so as you can see it's now downloaded now we'll go ahead and click on this button right here and now we're going to go ahead and create an account so to create an account it's pretty simple just just add in your name your email address your password and confirm it it's pretty simple right so let's go ahead and do that and once you've done that you should be good to go now after that you're going to go ahead and import some of the data that you've used in the past from one of these browsers so opera firefox edge chrome whatever so just select the browser that you use so and then you're gonna have so just select the browser that you want and then whatever email address that is associated within those browsers you can select them and import all of the data from those as well so i'm going to select chrome and i'm going to import my data from my emails hit next and over here they're going to ask you to you know go ahead and import all of your well, bookmarks if you have any or selected ones if you don't it'll be blank like this i don't have any bookmarks as of yet you can skip this for now as well it depends on you then click on next and now over here they're going to ask you to enable the art max is basically well of course the ai as i said before so you need to enable it you gotta press the broom icon to let your sidebar organize itself you can ask on page detail answers right so let's go ahead and enable this and then yes if you want to make it default if not you can click on no and then click on next i'm not gonna make it default so here you go this is your well kind of id card i would say you can save this as well i'll just save it and if you don't like it you can you know change the colors as well i like this one and then i'm gonna click on get started and here we go so i'm gonna make it big so here we go so this is the art browser so a whole lot of nothing over here as of right now because you know it's nothing at the top you have your url if you click on it it's going to open up right here where you can go ahead and switch between tabs and here is the link as well if you come over here onto the left hand side you can see you have this window option uh, you can make it big or small you know sidebar over here and here at the top you have your settings icon if you click on it it's going to drop down all these different settings so we got to check for updates import from another browser and all of the good stuff right so i'm going to import some other stuff from my other browser as well from my other emails from my chrome 
hit the next, click on import. And now these are all of my bookmarks. I'm going to select all of them and then just simply click on finish. And on the left hand side, you can see all of the uh, extensions as well and the tabs that are being installed. So these are like the tabs that are open at the, on the left hand side. And on the top right hand side, you can see all the extensions that you might have. So I've got a pretty large number of extensions. So they're installing as of right now. But yeah, uh, Grammarly, we've got one password over here. We've got all of your essentials over here. You can see you have quick access right here. Uh, if you want, you can toggle them as well. For example, if you click on this edit button, you can change the space icon, rename the space. You can set profile. You can create new folders or live folders, which is you can get them from GitHub's. You can export your data into a folder and then you can also delete the space as well and at the bottom you can see you have your spaces so currently this is one profile this is the other profile and if you want you can click on a new space right here totally you can change or create the name of this space as well and over here you can create new profiles as well so i'm going to create a new profile i'm going to call it this one and then click on create new profile there we go we can select a theme as well so we got a bunch of different colors you can move this around to find the color that you like. It's It goes in a circle, actually. You know, I actually like this one, so I'm going to leave it over here. There we go. You can, you know, darken it or light colors. Totally depends on you. But yeah, I like the dark, so I'm going to keep the dark one. And then over here, we'll call this fun stuff. Click on create space, and now we have a totally different space. So here we have the new space. We can click on new tab and, you know, open up new tabs over here. We can quickly jump into whatever search you want. And yeah, it's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and search for something and see how the Arc AI works. So if, to enable Arc AI, you got to press the control T button. You know, it opens up the search button. And over here, let's search for... And here we go, Archduke Ferdinand. Now, if we select a certain element, we should. So let's go ahead and see whether or not Arc is available. Uh, if I search for Arc Max, and I should hit enter, and I should have it in my browser. Let me go into the settings and see whether or not it's enabled. So I'm gonna go into settings. Okay, so it's enabled and it's actually control F. So here we go. If I you know find something over here i can just simply search for it and it should work another cool thing that i know is if you press the shift button right you keep holding it and then just simply click on any of the links it'll open up a small peek window that you can go ahead and peek check it out close it and you know check it out again so it's pretty cool uh you can split it as well so you click on split so now you have two windows in one tab which i think is really good overall i think the ui of it is actually very simple it's very clean not too overwhelming you got your spaces as well if you click on this button or this archive button it's going to show you all of the pages that you have open currently and overall it looks really really fun so if you click on clear it's going to clear all the tabs you can undo it from here Control z so right here we've got them back if you click on this one you can add a split to right button or bottom totally depends on you uh you know it's really really fun to check for updates, you can click over here. You've got new tabs, new windows, new incognito tabs, extensions. Let's go ahead and check out the extensions and see how the extension works. Now, since this is a Chromium based browser, all the extensions from your Chrome browser are going to be working with Arc easily. So you don't have to worry about that. It's actually pretty simple. So all the extensions that you have on your Chrome browser are also going to work over here on the Arc browser as well. So overall, it's a pretty cool browser. I highly recommend you check it out. Actually, I'm going to be using it for a while to see, you know, whether or not it's better than other browsers. Currently, it looks really good, looks really clean. So yeah, we'll definitely check it out. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications. And I will catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.